This is my review of Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 2. Now, I've been a big fan of the Mortal Kombat franchise for many years. I've played most of the Mortal Kombat video games. Uh, and I'm actually um, very good at the Mortal Kombat game that came out in 2011. I own the game. And I have it. For uh, PlayStation 3. Um, if you guys are curious uh, about me... Um, on the PlayStation Network, uh, my username is PWA32. And if any of you guys have played Mortal Kombat, um, and if you ran across me, you know that I'm very good with the Johnny Cage character. And, uh, that's my main character. Um, that's who I dominate with the most. I rank in the top 100, and I think I'm currently ranked number 54 um, right now. But, um,. But back on topic, uh, this is about Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 2. I saw the first season. The first season was pretty good, um, but there were definitely some things that they needed to improve on. Um, and for Season 2, I'm going to talk about what I liked and what I didn't like. One of the main things I liked was that they actually uploaded all 10 episodes all at once so you don't have to wait uh, you don't have to like watch an episode and then wait a whole week just to see what happens next like they did with season one this time around you can watch all ten episodes in a row if you want to and I'm really glad they did that because I'm a very impatient person and I hate waiting especially if I'm watching a good TV series I don't like having to wait a week just to see the next episode and one of the things that really surprised me, which I really liked, was the Liu Kang character. Because in the Mortal Kombat video games, Liu Kang is the Bruce Lee wannabe pure-hearted fighter. And I was kind of getting tired of the Liu Kang character, but the character in this season is much different than the character you get in the video games. Uh, this Liu Kang is dark. And this Liu Kang, I mean, he's not evil, but he went through a traumatic experience which pretty much changed his life. Um, he was, uh, he had a fiance, and he was going to get married, but she got killed because um, he was working in a restaurant along with his fiance, and these thugs came in and I guess they were trying to rob the place and they I guess they was taking her hostage and, and they shot her and Luke Kane's never been the same ever since um, he's for, and then it showed in the story that 10 years have passed since that event and he's just been doing all kind of crazy things I mean he he's actually like a hitman and he just goes out killing uh, bad guys and then when we when you first see him uh, when the story starts he's getting drunk in a karaoke bar I mean this Luke Kane is is very different than what you've seen in the video games but it actually made the character more interesting and um, I'm kinda glad they did that um, some of the fight scenes were really good uh, the Kenshi versus Ermac fight I really enjoyed that was my favorite fight of the season and I really liked the guy that played uh, Kenshi because he actually looked more he looked the most like his video game character because most of the other characters didn't really look that much like the characters from the video game but the guy that played Kenshi with the outfit that he had on it, it came pretty darn close to what you um, would get from the video game Plus he had his sword and he had his telekinetic powers. But as for Ermac, now they, they messed that character up. I mean, that costume was awful. I mean, how hard was it? I mean, how hard is it to get a ninja costume that's red? That's all they had to do. But nah, they want to make Ermac look like a some kind of a zombie. He's like some kind of a demon or something. But his clothes looked all raggedy and he just, it just didn't look right. 
Um, now, one of my biggest complaints about this season is the Johnny Cage character. And the reason is because I preferred the Johnny Cage character that we had in season one. Matt Mullins was the guy that played Johnny Cage in season one. That guy was perfect. He was the right age. Plus, he knew how to fight because he's a real-life martial arts expert. But who do we get for season two? We get Casper Van Dien. You get a guy that's too old. Casper Van Dien is 44 years old. He, that, that's too old to be playing Johnny Cage because Johnny Cage is supposed to be... If you go by the story of Mortal Kombat, Johnny Cage is 31 years old when he competes in the first tournament. Casper Van Dien is 44. What the hell? Matt Mullins from season one is 32, so he's the right age to play that part. And not only that, but his fight scenes, um, Casper Van Dien's fight scenes were awful. I mean, he fought Molina, and see, I'm a big fan of martial arts movies, so it's real easy for me to see who are the real martial arts experts and who are just regular people that learned a couple of moves for a fight scene and basically Casper Randine it was quite obvious that he has no experience at martial arts and if he did have some experience he, he wasn't very good because his movements were very slow and then he had to have a stunt double that was times when um when he was doing Johnny Cage would throw some of his kicks I could tell that wasn't Casper Randine it was a, a stunt double now, the only good thing I could say about Casper Grandine was he did show the personality of Johnny Cage. He was funny, and he did have some pretty cool one-liners in, in the series, but his fight scenes were awful. I was very disappointed, and you didn't get to see none of his special moves. We didn't get to see no shadow kick. We didn't get to see him use his green energy attack, and he didn't do his nut punch either. He didn't do no special moves. And what pissed me off the most was that when he first saw Melina, he actually ran away from her. I mean, they actually made Johnny Cage look weak, and they made him look like a coward. You know, that's not the way Johnny Cage is supposed to be. He's supposed to be a strong fighter who's arrogant, but he knows how to fight, and he, he's brave and courageous. And the way they had Johnny Cage in, in this series was awful I mean that's like I said they should have kept Matt Mullins but that's just my opinion I've read some other people's uh, comments on other people's videos and they they like Casper Van Dien, but honestly I would prefer Matt Mullins I thought he was a much better Johnny Cage and my other big complaint about this season is that this season is rushed every episode is short I mean extremely short each episode is ranges from about seven minutes to ten minutes, and there was maybe one or two episodes that was fifteen minutes. But that's extremely short, especially when all these episodes are filled up with flashbacks. So you might get seven minutes of flashbacks, and you might only get two minutes of the tournament itself. And um, most of these fights lasts about one and a half to two minutes I mean none of these fights were long all of them were short which really disappointed me because I was really looking forward to some good long entertaining fights we did get fatalities so I gotta give them cool points for that but so far as the fights themselves they were too short and some fights were disappointing some fights were pretty good and some weren't that good but um, overall, from a scale of 1 to 10, I would have to give Mortal Kombat Legacy a 6. Um, they did a good job with certain characters, and then they did an awful job with other characters. The season was rushed, and these episodes were just too short. And... I don't know, I guess I might have just had my expectations too high. But hopefully if they do, well, uh, from what I heard, they are making a movie. So hopefully they can get a big budget for this movie. Because so, when you do something like Mortal Kombat, you need a big budget 
to get the right actors and the right um, you know good costumes and you know really good special effects because um, you could tell that they only had a limited budget to work with for uh, season two and I'm hoping that when they make the movie they have a big enough budget to where they can make this movie right but uh, tell me what you guys thought about Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 2 and I'll see you guys later